Hi guys, it's five minutes past eight in the evening. Wednesday evening, Wednesday the 4th of January. And uh, I had quite a productive day yesterday. I've uh, tidied up in here. I've packed the Xbox 360 ready. I've just got to book that tonight, ready for collection. It'll probably have to be Friday now because I don't think I'll make it in time for tomorrow. No biggie. Um, and I've now got a washing machine. Mum bought a new one in the um, January sales at AO.com and that was delivered yesterday so my stepdad and brother bought it up yesterday morning and uh, I've plumbed it in and whatnot. I'm nuts. Forgot my drain had a tiny leak. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter, I'll fix that later. As long as I don't forget. But that machine Mum gave me, she bought it second hand, cheap, because uh, her one died. This is when this was way before she moved. How do you about a month? A month and a half before she moved into the bungalow? Um Works perfectly fine. So easy to use. I'll go and show you it in a minute. Um, my friend popped up a little while ago because he wanted to take his bike home to give it a clean. I don't know why he asked me. It's his bike. <laughs> he doesn't have to ask me to take his property. You know, he, if he wants to take it, he can. So he's got that and he'll be coming back tomorrow after 12. Which is great because that gives me time to uh, get up and go get my cash if I don't decide to go and get it tonight. I might go for a walk. Depends how I feel. Uh. <sighs> uh. Hell. Um, yeah, so his mountain bike's out of the way until tomorrow. Um. I've got, uh, well, no doubt his girlfriend will come up with him because uh, I'm buying all that pony gear off of her. All those My Little Pony figures and cuddlies and whatnot and whatever else I chose, I can't remember. I think there was only like four items I didn't choose out of the whole lot. But I've got the rest to go with that except one, which I'm going to buy on eBay to complete the set. And uh, speaking of My Little Pony, I've put the shelf in here now, or put put them all on that shelf. So I just hope what I've got coming tomorrow is going to go on that shelf as well. And uh, if needs be, I will clear that top shelf as well. Oh yeah, I put this light up yesterday as well. So I've got both of these up and moved the switch from there to here, because I had to plug the cable in this end. But yeah, I've got my lights up. I've got this, this is actually set up now. But, uh, the volume switches need some serious attention. Oh yeah, my friend brought me this up as well. Don't know if he dragged it out of a skip or found it dumped somewhere, but someone's had some fun with some blue spray paint. As I've sprayed everything and there's overspray on everything <laughs> all I want is the brakes the chain the saddle and the brake levers off of this everything else can just be thrown in there in fact if the bottom brackets bottom bracket bearings are any good I will take those off as well but if that whole crank wobbles and I won't bother what the pedals like the pedals are stiff so that hasn't been ridden for a while. I'm not going to trust them if the pedals are stiff. <sighs> right, oh, let me show you that washing machine, can't I? The washing machine! I can do my own laundry again. See, what happened was, a couple of years ago, one of Mum's washing machines died. Yeah, she's got a track record of killing washing machines. <laughs> so I gave her mine in exchange that she would do my laundry. And then eventually the one I gave her died as well, so she bought another one, second hand, 
used. And then that died, so she bought this one. And uh, in the January sales, she's decided to go and get a brand new one. So I've got this one. And it's so simple to use. Look at that. There's no drawer to fill. I'll show you where you put your stuff in a minute. On 60 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degree washers. 30 degrees at 30 minutes. So you've got a quick wash there. Open the door. And you can use either liquid detergent or powder, whichever you prefer. I've got powder. That mum bought me as well. And your fabric conditioner. So you just put my powder in there. Put the fabric conditioner there. This little yellow thing is a float that's in there. So when it gets up level there, it actually says stop on it. So you just stop filling it. Close the door and when it's on, so it would be on like that, and then all I would actually do is just press, well, whichever one I want, the 60, the 40, or the 30. <laughs> and it will just start working. Simple. It really is as simple as that. Then it will beep at you when it's done. So I'm actually quite happy. In a way, I mean, I've lost my space for my bins, so they're out here now getting in the way. Get rid of this plank of wood that I'm leaning on. Uh, oh, pardon me. Oh dear. Actually, for some reason that burp reminded me that I wanted a drink. <laughs> How weird is that? And I don't know if it's going to be visible, but mm, you can see they've put the wooden fence up. They started that yesterday. It's woken up at 8 o'clock in the morning with their pneumatic drill. That's what I could bleed in here. Toss pots. <laughs> New Year's resolution is to cut down on my swearing on camera. Although there might be the odd mild word, but I'm going to cut down on things like the F word and whatnot. <sighs> um, I think I will pour myself a drink in a minute. Uh, Got Lego back on that shelf. I'll do a bit of rearranging because I'm planning as well tomorrow to get a Lego City set. But I actually have to say, there's not a lot in this year's range that is actually yelling at me to say, Buy me! There really isn't. Um, <laughs> so I think it will be the year of the trains for me. And I think next year I might make it the year of the modulars. Because I've got one of my Lego ambitions going now. Which was to get a train. And the other one was to get one of their big expensive modular buildings. That will take you absolutely hours to build. Uh, like I said, just one will do. And like I've said before, I'm not a greedy person. So one will do. But I am looking forward to getting this built but I'm not going to be able to do it this week because I just haven't got the spare cash but next time I get paid I will so I'm going to be buying a bunch of track I want to get enough track so I can actually get the whole layout done in one hit basically which means I need straights and I've got to work out how many extra straights I'm going to need to go here because this section is moving it's going to go right across where the fire station is um, only because I'll be able to have a longer siding up there so I could fit a longer train in there basically because my aim <laughs> is to have at least three trains on the layout if, I, if that's actually too crowded I'll just have the two one freight and one passenger Whichever one's not being used will be parked in that siding. That's the whole point of me putting the siding in. So I can just switch between the two. Because I can run four trains on that at the same time. So it would just be a case of um, switching both locomotives on. And then switching between the two on there when I want to shuffle them around. 
Oh, and I want to get the bits, or at least the base plates, or at least the blue ones, I should say, to finish off in here. So I can actually then get the bridge properly finished, because I've got all the bricks. I've got plenty of bricks to finish it, I just can't finish it, because uh, I can't put my support beam in. Not yet. Because <laughs> I've got nothing to put the support beam on. So, uh, yeah. But I'll get those and the track on my next payday. And maybe a couple of pony plushies. I've got a thing for pony plushies at the minute. More than the figures. I don't know why. I've just got a thing for these. But not all of them are going to go on my bed. <laughs> well, unless I start using these as pillows and whatnot. Whoa. But, uh, I do like the two I've got in my arms quite a lot and this one's made by the same company as well they are um, Japanese I don't know if they're licensed in Japan or not but uh, they are Japanese and I know the show is over in Japan and uh, it's um, translated into Japanese and whatnot so but uh, I've got the tag I did do some research on them and there's no actual confirmation that they are, you know, fakes or genuine articles. So, I don't know, I've got a tag in here somewhere, I kept it. Oh well. But I'm not fussed because either way, the quality is still good. And, uh... Those Japanese ones are actually a lot more accurate. I'll show you one difference. Can you see the difference there? This one's only got the cutie mark on one flank. These ones from Japan... Got one on that side. Got one on that side. Just like in the show. For some reason, these ones are licensed by Hasbro over here. And even the Builder Bears, I think... You know, these ones are made by build a bit yep only has the one and I don't know why that really does bug me even the mini these um, blind bag minifigures they only have the cutie mark on one side the brushables over the back there only have it on one side I'm not sure about the Funko figure the Funko figure look she's got it on both sides so why why has Hasbro done that Hasbro, I demand answers. <laughs> I know they're toys and they've got to be done, you know, to a budget, but come on. Would that extra one print on them figures really make that extra bit of difference in the cost? <laughs> I don't know. It's just my little uh, bugbear with them. I really don't know what the cat has just knocked over. I'm not sure I want to look. Oh, I can't see anything. <sighs> One pain with that track is it moves. <laughs> um, which is a little bit of an issue. I'm not sure how to fix that issue either. But, uh, never mind it. It's not too much of an issue, but... I'm just thinking... You only need that one level crossing, that's alright. So... Here. The fire station... I'm going to put there. That means I can get rid of that road plate and put in another green base plate to build on. I'll have a nice little area down here to build on. You see, the reason I've taken most of the town up is because it was easier to get my track layout down and then build around my track. That's why I've actually got, you know, some buildings here and these buildings down there. That one over there. <laughs> Police station just randomly sitting between the tracks there. 
the only ones I'm not moving are the houses. There will be, eventually there will be four houses in there. Four custom houses, eventually. And you're probably thinking, there's three already, I only need to build one. Nah, that one's being demolished. But that one and that one are staying. But uh, I haven't decided what colour to do with the next house. I'm going to do it blue. I'm going to do a blue one. I've got a red one, got a yellow one. I could do a blue one. Could do a black one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Right. I'm blabbering on a bit now. So, tomorrow, I've got to get up. Well, actually, before I go to bed, I'm paying the phone bill. I don't want to, but if I leave it to my next payment, I'm going to be pushing it. <laughs> so, I'm going to. And besides, it'll give me something to look forward to when I next get paid, because I can buy all the Lego bits I need for this. Um, not unless I can sell a couple of my bikes in the meantime. That'll give me a bit of extra cash, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Um, but tomorrow, if I don't go out and get my cash tonight, because sometimes I go for a walk, and I'll get that out in the morning, pay my service charge, because I've got to pay that with my payment card, as the automatic payment is not due out until the 19th, if memory serves correctly. I have got the um, paperwork for that, so I can double check. Could get something for breakfast. Don't think I'll need to get any coke because I've got two bottles already. Uh, might go for a little wander around town. I'll put the cash aside for that girl tomorrow so I don't accidentally spend that. Put some electric on as well before I go spend anything so I actually know exactly what I've got then. Uh, I'm on emergency electric now. It actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it would, to be honest. I thought, as I was using the washing machine, twice, I was going to have to hit the emergency electric yesterday, but nope. Less than £2 credit, and I managed to get two washing loads done. So I was actually quite impressed at that. Yeah, then I'm going to do that bike for my friend. So I will warn you now, tomorrow's video will be heavily pony related. So if you don't want to know, don't watch the video. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to say goodbye. No, I'm not. Not yet. <laughs> I'm going to say thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you want to. And... I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.